the better vet pace tonight, taken out by Kozlowski analysis. Glenn Craven joins me. Firstly, Glenn, congratulations. Good win. Yeah, no, he went good. Thanks, Paul. He's a nice little horse and, yeah, lovely horse to drive. He is a nice little horse and um, he's always been a horse with a lot of ability and a, and a good story, I suppose, um, behind him as well. Been missing for a little while. Well, he had been missing for a little while, but hasn't he come back in super, super form? Yeah, no, David's done an awesome job with him. He's uh, nursed him back to health and got him back to the... Well, we'll test him out in the next few weeks in the better races coming up. Um, but, yeah, I think he's got him back to close to his form he was as a four-year-old. Did he break down or did he just get sore or what happened? No, no, he had a, he had a gut problem. He um, had a reaction to um, some antibiotics, I think it was. And, um, yeah, he had, had a, a gut issue and uh, he had to, had to nurse him along for a while. And um, I think he said he had to drench him with some... Um, some urine, uh, some not some urine, some uh, uh, shit from another horse, um, just to try and get his gut to be healthy again. Um, and yeah, I think that's sort of what turned the corner. And he's just yeah, nursed him back and brought him back slowly. And um, yeah, been lucky enough to to be able to get on him and drive a few nice races. He yeah, he just looks a lovely, lovely horse too. Like in and a horse, it's good to have these sort of horses back. Got a be- beautiful attitude about him. Should only get better. Yeah, no, like I say, he's he's coming back from from such a a hard time, so um, David's just looked after him and, and taking him nice and steady. So, um, yeah, the, the screws will probably uh, turn down now. He'll, he'll have some harder races and he won't be getting away with uh, 32 quarters anymore, I don't think. So, um, yeah, we'll just uh, hopefully he can he can take the step and, and keep improving like he has been and, um, yeah, like and enjoy the ride. As a, as a driver, do you grin when you get a 32 quarter? Uh, yeah, no, I was. Uh, <laughs> I knew I was getting it easy, but I, yeah, you, you don't think you get them that easy in this this metro racing. So um, yeah, no, it was it was good. And then even then after that, we were able to control the tempo pretty good for him. So um, yeah, no, it was just a nice nice hit out, and um, yeah, you can go to the Hamilton Cup next week and hopefully get a an easier run up there as well, and and uh, yeah, win the hometown cup for the Lewises. What happens after that? Uh, yeah, I don't know what um, David's long term plan is with him, but um, yeah, I'd hope he can. Keep keep progressing and um, maybe look at look at the Hunter Cups or the the Miracle Miles, but um, they're a long way in the distance. He's, he's got to improve a fair bit yet, still. So um, just interesting to see how he uh, takes the next step. Is he good enough? On his four-year-old form, he wasn't far away. So yeah, if he can if he can um, handle the pressure and, and, and that hard racing, he, he um, yeah he can keep up to him. Lenny, thank you. Thank you very much. It's Bendigo Cup. It's an early finish. You guys get to go home, which is good. You didn't have a cup runner, but... Uh, well, you did, actually. Um, how did Sylvester go? Uh, he went OK. He was just a little bit underdone. He uh, he liked the Inter-Dominion race somewhere. He raced a couple of times a week, so um, he just had a, a, a little bit of a gap between races, so he just needed the run tonight and did a bit of work early, and um, we're lucky enough um, when uh, Michael's horse was uh, starting to pull up. He, he pulled up out of the way, but, um, yeah, we just weren't good enough, so he was all right. He went through the Intermediate Carnival. Terrific, though. And, I, and I've said it a few times, but I'm going to say it to you guys. Well done, given Lockie Cook and Cody Rockenberger a drive at Shep. I know one of the reasons was a long way for the boys to travel and they weren't keen. And a few people a few people said that. Oh, well, I still disagree because Chris Alford was sitting on the bench. You know, the best in the business. If you just wanted to, you could have put them on. So I think well done to everyone behind it because I think it's great. Two people with no name in this sport. And I think it's what you guys do so well. So mate, keep up the good work. And uh, thank you very much. Well done winning here. And uh, enjoy the trip home, buddy. No, thanks, Paulie.